Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna decorate for fall, which is probably my favorite season to decorate. I'm showing you here our fireplace mantle area. Uh, we have a stone mantle that's divided into two, as you can see, which makes it a little tricky to decorate. I try really hard to make it cohesive, but it's a little challenging. I also have this antique table that's been in our family for a couple hundred years, and I love to decorate it for each season. And then in our living room, we also have an end table but I wanted to add a little touch of fall over there as well. And then I'll probably also add some things in the kitchen. So this mess you're looking at is all of my fall decorations. This is how I decorate is I get everything out that I already have and kind of spread it on the floor so I can take a look at it and see if I need anything or if I can use what I have. In this case, I really wanted to buy like a bunch of new sort of more neutral or bluish kind of decorations, but I ended up just out of budget, just sticking with what I had and just bought one or two things from the Dollar Tree. So before I do any actual decorating, I just really wanted to make it smell like fall in my house. It just kind of puts me in the mood to decorate. So I made this homemade simmering potpourri and there's no recipe for this. You can really just throw in whatever smells like fall to you. So I added some orange peel and some fresh grated nutmeg and some cinnamon and some fresh ginger and so about two cups of water. And then I just put it on low and let it simmer away. I decided to start with the hardest space first, which was my mantle. Like I said, it's hard to decorate because there's two separate stone mantles, but the other problem that I often face is that it's so dark, the stone is just really dark, and so I need something very light against it for contrast. And I had seen these lighted branches in home decor stores before, but they're kind of pricey and I didn't really want to pay a lot of money. So instead, I decided to DIY them. I just went out in my backyard and found some sticks that looked, or some branches that looked appealing to me and gave them two coats on either side. Once my branches were dry, I removed all of the spring decor and then gave everything a good clean with some multi-purpose cleaner. If I'm being perfectly honest, the only time that this mantle gets cleaned is when I'm redecorating, so it was due. I just used my multi-purpose spray, which is vinegar and water and a little bit of essential oils and gave it a good wipe down and then positioned those branches in my mercury glass vase that I got at Target probably six or seven years ago for $5 on clearance. What a steal. And then I'm gonna add some lights to these too. I am in love with these cute little battery operated LED lights that I got at Dollar Tree just a dollar for these cute little lights and they worked out really well so i really only paid about maybe a dollar 25 for this entire diy right here with these branches and normally they retail for at least 15 to 30 dollars it took me a little bit of playing around to get the lights exactly how i wanted in the branches but i love the way it turned out Once I had my lighted branches in place, I added this arrangement I already had. I think I got this at Michael's 50% off a number of years ago, and it ties in sort of the greens and the turquoise and the white that I have in the rest of the room. To add a finishing touch on this side, I have some cute little pumpkins. I've collected a number of little pumpkins like this throughout the years. Some I've bought at Michael's or Walmart or even the Dollar Tree. I think this orange velvet one was from the Dollar Tree actually. And so that side of the mantle is finished and now to work on the other side. Now the tricky part comes in trying to make this side of the mantle sort of go together with the other side. Like I mentioned, it's hard to make them cohesive because they're separated. But I've had these candlesticks for quite a long time and they used to be black. I painted them white so that they would show up against this mantle. And I've had those teal candles for quite a while. 
and I picked up this thankful sign, I think at Hobby Lobby a number of years ago. I've decided my fall decorating motto is, when in doubt, add pumpkins. I have these other pumpkins that I added on this side of the mantle to kind of tie them in together with the other side. So here's the mantle when you can see both sides of it together. I feel like, I think I did a pretty good job of tying the colors in on both sides. It's not super overdone or fancy. It's kind of simple, but elegant. Next is this antique table, which is kind of the first thing you see when you walk through our front door. I love this table and I love decorating it, but I confess that sometimes I have a hard time knowing what to put on here because I would really like to acquire some other decorative accents, but I didn't want to go buy out a bunch of things, so I used what I had. I have a bunch of miscellaneous picture frames and I decided I wanted to do kind of a collage of picture frames on there with just a few fall accents. I'll probably end up changing the actual photos that are in these frames a little bit later because these are mostly really outdated. Obviously the wedding photo I'll leave there, but the pictures of my kids are from years ago. But you know what? They were in there and it was one less thing to do. I went back to my pile of fall decor. I knew I wanted some flowers on the table of some sort and I had these picks that I bought a number of years ago. They're pumpkins with some seasonal berries in there and I just grabbed a jar that I had DIY'd. Oh, for Thanksgiving a few years ago. It just has white paint with a little woven ribbon with some lace on it and I just glued it on there. And then on the other side, I had this basket and I knew I wanted some pumpkins in there. I just felt like it needed a little something else. I decided this was the perfect spot for my other set of battery operated lights from the Dollar Tree. And I just kind of placed the pumpkins in there and sort of wrapped the lights all around until it looked just how I wanted. The thing that I love about decorating is that there's no right way or wrong way to do it. It's just all about whatever your style is. So even if you have like a farmhouse style that you like or you like sort of a more modern contemporary style, whatever it is, because we're all so unique, we put our own individual twists on it and we make it our own and it just looks like our home. And so I love using what I have and making it my own and you know, no one can tell me, oh, that's not the way you do it because there's no right way or wrong way. So just enjoy it. Moving into the kitchen, there's really only one spot in the kitchen that I decorate because I don't like a lot of things on the counter and I feel like my kitchen counter honestly ends up pretty cluttered all the time anyways. That's what happens when you have five people living in a house. So I have this wood slice that I got from Hobby Lobby and the pumpkin came from there a number of years ago too. And I think that mercury glass vase was from Walmart for like maybe $3. And I have another one of those white faces that I DIY'd and I love the way this turned out. The last space I'm decorating today is this end table in our living room. So I, because it's black, I wanted some contrast on there and I have another one of those white jars that I painted. They're just mason jars is all they are. And I added in another one of those pumpkin sprigs and some fall leaves from the Dollar Tree, but it just wasn't quite right. So I put it on top of some books that I had and I like how it tied in the turquoise color and the gold that I kind of have throughout. And then, of course, I had to add some pumpkins. I have had this magazine holder for years and I really wanted to add a splash of color on there, so you'll see what I do to it in just a second. But Mr. Buddy here, our foster dog, wanted to make an appearance. He was trying to help me, I think. You'll notice I really have a thing for turquoise and I happen to have this um, high gloss turquoise spray paint in my garage so I just gave this a few coats and it was like brand new.
I think this video goes to show that you really don't have to spend a lot of money to decorate for any season. You can just shop your house and hit up the Dollar Tree or the Target dollar spot and maybe DIY a few things and you can still make your home look beautiful. I really like how the oranges and golds warm up my decor and those little white lights are super cozy at nighttime. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this each week. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go over there. I am One Haven Maven, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.